you know, um, visions are very good, but they're thoughts, they're dreams. And yes, while we had a vision, and I was uh, leading uh, the creation of that vision in uh, 1997, when I wrote the proposal to the government, uh, we had many part partners along the journey that have made that vision a reality. And those partners include governments, uh, past and present, uh, includes leaders like Hela, include leaders in other professions like Bob and all of you here, and include more important than anything else, the staff nurses in uh, hospitals, nursing homes, home care, public health, provincially, nationally, and internationally. Because I was sharing with some of my colleagues that um, in my wildest dream, I didn't imagine that this vision uh, would have the um, traction and the impact that is having uh, not only in our nation, but internationally. I had the privilege of representing you at the International Council of Nurses this past week in Malta. My gosh, what a gorgeous country, and what a fabulous, fabulous healthcare system they have, and I didn't know that. One of the strongest and best publicly funded uh, not-for-profit delivery systems that exist anywhere. Uh, granted, it's only 400,000 people, but uh, we had the pleasure of listening to their um, prime minister and the way he spoke about nurses. Um, well, Dalton did a bit of matching that up during our annual meeting, and you all should go to the website of the government of Ontario because they actually profile the um, feedback that they got from nurses. Uh, the premier got seven standing ovations, which is no small feat. Uh, for any premier. Um, and, and I say partners because without partners, we don't make these dreams a reality. And these guidelines have been translated now by the government of Spain to Spanish, all of them, all the 43 and more in the process. Um, they have been translated uh, to Italian. Uh, some of them have been translated to Japanese, to Mandarin and to other languages, and researchers like Leanne Jeffs across the world are actually focusing on the impact that they produce, not only on changes in nursing practice, and quite frankly, on other professions uh, practice, uh, because other professions are using them too, but on patient outcomes, which is really what we are all about uh, together, uh, trying to influence. Because at RNO, we always say to uh, governments, both uh, provincial and national and international, if you want to have a sustainable uh, healthcare system that really uh, delivers the best care for all, don't focus on budget cuts, focus on evidence. And that's why uh, I thank you, Ella, for mentioning the Excellent Care for All Act, because that's, that's the big price. If we all will focus on evidence and uh, will anchor our practice in whichever uh, area that we are, whether it is different areas of clinical practice that our colleagues will present, or if it is administrative practice, or if it is policy, if we anchor it on evidence, we are going to win big time, and we will become the nation of the nations, Ontario, in terms of modeling for others how to do it right. So with that, I thank you for inviting us. We are just a dream, you are the reality. And truly, I thank St. Mike's. I, I, we chose St. Michael's, you need to know why we chose St. Mike's. Um, we could have chosen any of our 50 organizations that we have and others in other provinces and also we have now international VPSOs. We chose St. Mike's because when we attended the VPSO a gathering a, a month ago or so, uh, we were so very impressed 
not only by the fact that you had the courage and the stamina and the wisdom and the collective organizational uh, capacity and drive to, to take on 17 guidelines, which is very big because we only expect a minimum of three. So you are doing a big job. But also because you had the capacity with your colleagues of driving a research agenda that will prove once and for all that nursing practice produces outstanding clinical outcomes if it's based on evidence. So thank you, St. Mike's. Kudos to your leadership, Ella, Rob, all of you, really kudos, and thank you very, very much to you and to the nurses here.